going on you guys? Theo here with the big review back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video and today we have some exciting news. We have the formal announcement of the Serena set being introduced into the game, some interesting package reruns, and then we're going to take a look at a couple of other things that you can do in order to prepare yourself in the future for any type of potential collab. So before we get into all that, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. We are getting ever close to 700 subscribers and once we do we will be giving away either a iTunes or a Google Play gift card. So make sure if you haven't already done it, smash that subscribe button. But let's get into this information that Netmarble released today regarding the Serena set. So it's looking like we will be, and we've talked about this in the past few weeks, we actually had a bit of a tip off thanks to my usual source that this would possibly be happening this week and we already had kind of gathered a little bit of information based on the fact that as we covered yesterday the Leona and Iori cards were going to be expiring today on the rate up so we kind of thought maybe something was going to happen but here we are we are going to be getting the Serena set. It looks like it is called With Courage once more, and it will be added into the game, as you can see there, at on 217 at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So adjust accordingly for whatever time zone you might be in. But there is very little information in here in regards to these. However, this has not stopped people from wild speculation, and I want to kind of talk about that briefly. So as it pertains to the kind of well, I guess what you would call the pressure being put on this set to rival the Leia set or to counter the Leia set. This is a prevailing kind of thought pattern amongst people in the community. Everybody is hoping that this is going to be some sort of set to counter the Leia set, which for those of you who do not know, the Leia set is widely regarded as being one of, if not the best sets in the entire game, as well as being the most broken set in PvP. And so, therefore, a lot of people, it has actually spoiled them on PvP. And for good reason, I can see why. You know, there is basically the mindset that this card set basically makes, you know, middle of the road or bad players good players, and it makes good players great players, and so on and so forth. And it's just unfair in PvP where it is very tough to read your opponent's next move and so on just because of the fact that you don't really know, okay, do they have the Leia set? Are they on reset? It's tough. So a lot of people really hate that set. It's very controversial. There have been endless amounts of conversations and even videos made on the topic. And, you know, for me as a non-PvP specific player, it doesn't necessarily bother me as much. It I, I get it for those that do love PvP and play PvP almost exclusively. I understand their frustration, and I get that. My issue is setting yourself up for disappointment. There is really no... There's no indication from Netmarble whatsoever that this set or any set in the future is designed to counter that set in any way, shape, or form. So, they've never even really addressed the Leah situation, so therefore I feel like it might be a little bit <sighs> head in the clouds, I guess. We'll have to wait and see. Now, we have no indication whatsoever on what this Serena set is going to bring with it as far as effects go. It could very well be a better Leah set. It could very well counter Leah set. We don't know anything. It could be garbage. So, we don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We only have several hours from now to wait in order to find out. However, there is something that I want to talk about with this, and then we'll move on, because there actually is a little bit more here in this update. But one of the things I want to talk about real quick, and this is speculation-ish, but I have it from a good source that has been right about pretty much everything else that they have said in the past, that the Korean community is expecting some form of announcement of a Korean live stream in the coming days that should take place on Monday if it does happen. So this is a more so just kind of educated guess slash a little bit of leaked information going on here, but there is the potential that we will hear some sort of formal announcement for a Korean live stream coming on Monday, and that if it does get announced, will happen in the next 48 to 72 hours. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about pulling for these. We are still all kind of waiting on bated breath for 
some form of, of announcement as it pertains to either an, another BS drop, a BS rerun, or a collab, or something along the lines. So therefore, maybe hold off. These should have well more than a week, or at least a week worth of time on the rate up when they drop. If they do, my suggestion to you guys is just to wait a few days and see if there is an announcement, and then plan accordingly from there. If there is an announcement, and we know that there is going to be a stream on Monday, if that does happen, then I would wait to see what happens on Monday. Otherwise, if there is no announcement in the next few days, then you can consider that kind of your green light if this is a if these are cards that end up being something that you need or want. But I would wait a few days. Give it a little time and wait and see. Because there is the potential that this set ends up being extremely good. And then it ends up being a big old debated situation. And then you end up kicking yourself. So I would just kind of wait. You know, I'm not saying that you should skip these at all whatsoever. I have no idea what they even do. So I can't make that call. What I'm saying is, is just maybe give it a couple of days and wait and see if that does happen. Now... Moving on here, there is one other bit of information in here that's kind of interesting, and usually I don't hold a lot of kind of time on my videos towards these, but when it comes to these packages, I thought that this was really interesting. They're rerunning Mr. Karate packages, or what appears to be a rerun of the Mr. Karate packages. So with this, this is interesting to me. Um, they've never actually done this before, and this actually makes me wonder kind of what is the thought process here. So typically whenever we get these types of packages, right, these are packages that you normally only see during the time that the character is on the rate up right around their release. And it's odd that they are rerunning these, but I do see it being beneficial for people who don't mind spending money on the game. Or maybe you're somebody that is very close on Mr. Karate and wants to get him finished or so on and so forth. Now, do I think that you should go in on these? Because this actually, this is probably the $100 package or at least $80. I wouldn't say it's that's worth it at all. Um, even though I think Mr. Karate is a phenomenal character. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know that you should be going in on these. But I do find it of note that they are rerunning these. This is interesting to me. And I figured it was worth bringing up. But yeah, guys, so to summarize, Serena set will be tonight. We will have an update on that tomorrow on a Should You Pull. And like I said, my opinion on this is maybe wait a few days and see if there is indeed a announcement on the Korean side for a stream. Because if there is a Korean stream come next week, we want to wait and see what happens there. We should have plenty of time for these to be on rate up in order to wait that long. But your mileage may vary. Do what you like. That's just a tip from me to you. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the main point that we want to talk about today. And that is going to be other things that you can do to prep for things like collabs and even to a lesser extent, I suppose, boss syndrome. But I wouldn't throw that in here. I would say this is more so things that you can do, little things you can do to prep for a collab. Now, for me personally, obviously, we've already talked about in the past saving rubies. You know, that's goes without saying. You should save rubies in general because you, you're not going to be able to keep up in this game, whether you are a PvE character or a PvE player, rather, um, you're not going to be able to keep up with every character that gets dropped for PvE, because you just need too many memories. If you're a PvP player, then you can probably do so. Um, that is actually possible, because you only really need, at that point, one copy of the character plus a memory. Um, so really, you need two copies of the character, and you're good. So for PvP minded players it's a lot easier for pve players however it's almost impossible you know even with me as you've seen in the past i skip characters a lot and the reason i skip characters is because i wouldn't be able to have the ruby stash that i have and be prepared for these big drops that happen without doing so i i couldn't go for characters like me Anne or elizabeth and a5 them and still have rubies laying around for the next thing so you have to be kind of picky and choosy there, but saving your rubies, everybody knows that. However, that being said, what other things should you think about whenever you are saving for potential things in the future? And I felt like this was a good rule of thumb in general for people. You know, yes, it does pertain mostly to collabs. However, these are things that you should probably be doing kind of in general. And so therefore, I figured that this was worth bringing up because I don't think everybody really thinks about some of this stuff. And therefore, I figured I should kind of talk to you about it. So the first thing that my, rec my recommendation list is going to have on it is going to be in here. The first thing that you want to look at 
is going to be in Team Relay Exchange Shop, and it's going to be something I've already purchased. It's going to be the Zero Clone memory that resets every week at reset. You can buy this once a week. Everybody should be doing this. The reason why this is important and is something that you might consider to be saving for collabs is going to be the fact that when we get collab fest characters, those characters need invitations in order to awaken them, right? So if you need those invitations to awaken them, you are going to need three fast memories. It doesn't matter whose memory it is, you're just going to need three fast memories. And so therefore, you should be getting these every week and saving these if there's a collab on the horizon or there's been a little bit of time between collabs and you know that, okay, in the next month or two we're going to have one, I should probably start saving. Reason being is... When it comes to the Ruby expenditure for collabs, it's actually not too bad. So it's basically what you want to plan for Ruby-wise going to be 18k for a pity for the characters and 9k for a pity for the cards. That's typically going to be what you're looking at as far as kind of Ruby investment for a collab. If you're going to pity on one banner per character and card. If there's multiple banners, you will have to double those numbers, obviously, because at that point, you're going to need to do those things at least twice. So, really, when it comes to that, you're basically looking at about 27k worth of rubies in order to go to pity one time on characters and cards. So, if you're planning that way, that kind of tells you, like, for instance, if there were two banners for characters and cards right now with what I have, I would really only be able to go to pity on those things once a piece. So, two character banners, two card banners, pity once a piece with what I've got. And I've got 65,000 plus rubies. And that's quite a bit of rubies, however, as you can tell from what we're talking about here, it doesn't go that far with a collab. So, therefore you aren't typically going to have enough rubies laying around just to go to pity multiple times or to go in on these banners multiple times. Typically, you're going to try and hopefully do it once, get both the characters or whatever characters are in that banner, and then move on. And that means you're not going to have a whole lot of options and a whole lot of chances to go for memories for these characters. So being able to save these for those characters down the road is always going to be of benefit to you, and it is something that I highly recommend to you to do because you are going to need those invitations if those characters end up being good. And it, you mean, it's just one of those things to me that a lot of people don't really talk about, but it is something that does benefit you. And kind of the same rule of thumb applies to if there's ever going to be like those fest roulettes like we recently had with Lovely Kula, you can save those memories as well. You know, if it's a good character like a Lovely Kula, I will say that you should probably wait. Um, and the reason I say that is going to be because if you don't have Kula built up, for instance, or it's a good fest character in general, then you're going to want to build them up. You know, so typically you want to take advantage of those things, but if it's a bad fest character, like re more recently, well, not more recently, but in the past we did have the Christmas Elizabeth on one, and that would have been the perfect time to do something like that. So... That's pretty much going to be point number one that I wanted to make. Save your generic memories, or if you do get memories kind of just for characters you can't use, like you will see that I have several in my storage here, and I'll kind of show you. So these are things that you just want to kind of hold on to. Now that is going to be the first point that I wanted to make. Now the next point that I want to make, as it pertains to this point, is going to have to do with AP. So AP is something that you know, they've been gunning for hard. You go through it pretty pretty quick, although I will say it's not as big of a deal. I don't understand why it's as big a deal to some people as... I, I feel like those people just aren't buying the AP every day um, because there are ways to buy AP through the exchange shop. And if you really need extra AP, and I wouldn't recommend this, you can do it on the roulette wheel. Um, but really, if you're doing through the exchange shop and you're doing all your daily missions and everything you should be each day, you should have plenty of AP. I've never done anything out of the ordinary. There's no big secret to AP. You know, just make sure that you're collecting it in all the various ways that you can. You know, down the road, maybe I'll make a video about the places you can do that, but it won't be this video because this one will run way too long if I do. So... Saving AP is important because you're going to have things very similar to, for instance, this dungeon here when you have a collab, and therefore it is going to take quite a bit of AP because as the Seven Knights one kind of set the precedent for, you are going to notice that there are going to be things in those exchange shops that you're definitely going to want during the collabs that are really going to be very, very decent if they continue the trend that they've been on. 
for instance with the stones and so on and so forth so my opinion with that is save AP try to have a lot of AP try to make sure that you go to your exchange shop and purchase your AP daily and that will be something that will kind of prepare you in the long run for something like this but that all being said the last thing that I want to talk about is going to be the souls for your characters so I'm actually going to and I can actually go into my inventory and show you guys this so when it comes to these resources here I kind of wanted to show you guys what I've got going here so these are going to be my memory or my souls rather so souls you are going to want to make sure that you have a decent amount of and you can do so through you know the mystery boxes and so on and so forth you know you get some for doing a lot of your missions you know your time attacks so on and so forth you'll get some of the mystery boxes that will give you the souls my recommendation to you guys is save these save these save these because in my opinion even if it's a collab i would save the souls for the fast collab characters for going in and selling for purple dust so that you can make sure that you can go in and get more tokens for your unified banner that's a good time to stock up on those is a good a time as any really so i always recommend with any fest character try to use generic souls if you can you know collect the boxes collect these doing you know like the advent dungeons and things do those every single week they'll eventually pile up if you're a new player you're not going to have a lot of these but just trust me if you just do it the natural way just grinding every day doing your advent dungeons doing your different modes that give you some of the mystery boxes so on and so forth eventually you'll have a stockpile of these and these things are going to come in handy greatly for that because then you can save the souls that you get for pulling those characters during the collab and sell those for tokens and kind of recycle those. So those are going to be kind of some main points I wanted to make to you guys with the, some of this stuff. You know, really at the end of the day, it, the biggest thing is going to be your rubies, obviously, but there are a few things that I felt like a lot of people don't really talk about, and there are just little tips, little things to help you guys out. So let's go ahead. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a small summoning session that I did last night. So let's take a look at that real quick, because I think you guys are going to, uh, uh, you're going to like this one. Alrighty, you guys. So as per tradition here on the channel, I've got some more tickets. So we're going to go ahead and open these up and see what I can get. Now, I was able to get this five-star fighter voucher from the mileage on the unified banner from doing my daily free summons. So figured we'll go ahead and we will check this out, see if we get anything good. But first, we'll... Wait. Hold on. Ah, uh, that's clutch. Look at that. I think I've already got this one, though. That's the problem. Oh, we're gonna check real quick and see, but I'm I'm like 90% sure that that's the one I've already got. Man, that's that's like perfect for Elizabeth, but I, I'm I'm pretty certain we're gonna check, but I'm I'm pretty sure that that's the one I've already got. Dang, man, that's you hate to see it. Yep, that's that's the one I've already got. All right, well, okay. <laughs> That would have been clutch, but I've already pulled it before, so... Okay, well, whatever. So, let's go ahead and get into these summons here. Like I said, I've got this 5-star voucher. I don't think I've got anything else in here besides one multi-worth and this 5-star voucher. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and do this one first. See if we get a fast. Liable to be just a regular old gold border character, but that's okay. Not a big deal. See what we get here, but... Oh, it's a fast. Okay, cool. Hopefully something useful. If not, it's fodder. <laughs> okay, whatever. Well, so for those of you keeping up with the channel, I had been tr struggling to get the final memory for him for ages. And I finally was able to get it a little while ago. And of course, there we are. So if, the second I pull one, after struggling for so long to get one, I, I pull another one, of course. So this has just been a bang up video for things I've already got that are good, but I've already got them. So, oh, hey, look, another fast. Who's it gonna be? Man, we have so much good luck on tickets. Woo! Oh. My. God. Are you kidding me? That is insane. Guys. Guys. If you're new here, this is the third time on tickets on camera that I have pulled this character. It is becoming a trend 
and I'm not going to complain about it. I, I, I'm happy. <laughs> I'll take it. I really, really like B. Jeanette as a character in general. As I've said in the past, I love this version of her. Um, and yeah, we're, uh, <laughs> man, we're just gonna end up A5 and her for free, aren't we? Good lord. I, I don't even know what to say about that. That's, uh, yeah, that's a thing that happened again. Uh, <laughs> Oh, you guys, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I'm gonna start farming these tickets during these events if it means I'm just gonna keep getting Beejanet. Not gonna lie. I need how many more now? I need like four more memories for her. Is that right? I think I need four more memories to A5 her. Pretty sure. Wow, you guys, that's, that's some luck. We have been having nothing but luck with these tickets lately. I mean, knock on wood, but still, that's... That's awesome. Cool. Well, I'm actually gonna... I know the other day... Oh, wrong button. I know the other day I changed this to Mian to end the video off, and that lasted a very short amount of time. But being that she's one of my favorite characters, I feel like uh, I need to I need to sort this. This thing annoys me. I hate that it, sort, it has them all generically sorted by grade. Okay, well, that uh, should be at the bottom. Somewhere towards the bottom. I believe, probably. We'll, uh, we'll take a look. No, Rugal, stop being the leader. Yeah, so we're eventually going to get to a point, you guys, where we are going to be able to use her quite a bit, be Jeanette, that is, for some different things to try her out. In the past, I've shown you guys against Mortal Victor at level 90, even before I had her awakened, she was able to take him down with one team as the leader with her leadership skill. So she's not a bad character at all, but yeah, guys, I'm extremely happy about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe if you did. I will see you guys in the next one. You all have a great day. Peace. Continue.